so much. The Bringing Justice Initiative is a campaign raising money to get the backlog rape kits in Detroit tested. So far, 237 cases are inve under investigation. 724 suspected serial rapists have been identified and 41 people have been convicted of these horrible crimes. This morning, I'm joined by Christette Ellis and Robin Kinlock with more on what they're doing to help. Thank you so much for joining us and getting up early with us. Thank so tell me that. about yes. this initiative. Uh, this initiative was brought about by uh, Wayne County Executive Warren Evans. He brought uh, women leaders of the faith-based community uh, across interdenominational lines, so we weren't focused on your denomination. And we wanted to raise money and to raise, raise awareness to get these rape kits processed. So we wanted to give the victims a voice, and we want to do something to make our community safer. You've already made quite the headway. Tell me how many kids you've had tested. Wow, we started with over 11,000, and I believe of the 11,000, we've already tested about, about 10,000 of them have been tested, and so of course there are still um, over 1,100 that still needs to be tested, and so every single um, one of those kits are important. So we wanna make sure that all of those um, rape kits are tested. Each and every one of those kits represents a victim. This is personal. So tell me, how can we finally complete this? How can we make all of these kits get tested? Well, the great thing is, is that it takes approximately $490 to process a kit. We are, uh, like Chris said, said we are just have a thousand or so over. So this isn't an ongoing um, campaign that we're running. We just want to get these break kits processed, get these assailants off the street, have a, have a, make sure that the victims have justice brought to them, and we want to move on to something else. We have a lot of work to be done in the city, and this is something that we can combat and, and move forward. We were talking about this being a perpetual crime, you know, victims of sexual assault and then the perpetrators as well. This is an ongoing issue. Why is it important to make sure we test these and we get these people off the street? Well, it's important because for, for a number of reasons. Number one, we want the victims to know that they have a voice and that people are concerned about them getting the justice that they deserve. It's also important because we want our streets to be safer. And we also want the perpetrators to know that they can't rape and be serial rapists and get away with it. So it really is about helping our community be safer and to bring justice to those who have been victims. And with finding all these serial rapists so far, you're just proving that point exactly of how important it is to find out who these people are. So we have all of our folks at home who are saying, of course, we want to get this completed. How can they help? Um, they can go to, we're going to have the information on your website, but there are several different ways you can donate online. We'll take checks, um, but at this point, we just want everyone to get involved. Give something. If you can't process one kit for the $490, at least give something towards the cause so that we can bring justice, like Chrisette said, to these women. But we want to keep our kids safe, our moms safe, our sisters. We want to keep our streets safe from these um, these rapists so that they don't continue in this off, in this horrendous act. And what's so incredible about this is this is something we can come to a completion with. We can test all of them exactly. and move forward. Exactly. And, and I just want to make a plea uh, and say that every little bit counts. You know, sometimes people um, think that they can't help because they don't have a lot of money. You know, I don't have $200, I don't have $300, but you know what? Five dollars here, ten dollars there, it all adds up. And Absolutely. to know that Absolutely. you are a part of um, bringing justice to these Absolutely. victims will really, really, I'm sure, make you feel good and make our community safer. That's important. We'll put all that information on our website. That's WXYZ.com. And we'll be right back after the break.